Hello, Squirrel Trap 2.0. It has been a, f a few days or a while since I, I, we've been here, since I've been here with you guys. Um, I'm in a much better place mentally and emotionally today than I was previously. Um, I'm going to give a lot of credit to Jess. If you guys have seen any videos, Jess sent me a message telling me that I mattered. And I needed it at that time. I had a small little emotional breakdown after reading it. And I have been much, much better since then. I think everybody every once in a while just needs to be reminded that they matter. And I didn't realize I needed it until I heard it and changed a lot. So I'm very happy. Um, for those of you who have been in live streams lately, uh, my birthday one specifically, thanks for hanging out with me for my birthday. I got a gift over here that I'm gonna open up. I was waiting for y'all. I've had it for like two days, but I haven't opened it up because I was waiting to do it with y'all. This is from Jamie. Jamie is also the one who sent me, I think this is from Jamie. Jamie sent me two books. And so I've been dying to open this with you guys to see what's in here. She said it goes with the books. It's like, I don't know if that means it's like a follow-up or whatever else, but she sent me the books and then she sent me, ooh, more books. Jamie, you know me so well. I love books. All right, what else do we have? Okay. This one is, oh, this is gonna come in handy. Undistracted, I was like, what is this? Like, like, like little whatever claws. No, undistracted, capture your purpose, rediscover your joy. Mm. This reminds me of one of those, what movie was it in? There was some movie where it was, it was, it's a far stretch, but my brain went straight there. It was something along the lines of capture your purpose, rediscover your vagina. It was one of those kind of things. And I don't remember what movie it was in for the life of me right now, but it was all about getting back in touch with your feminine, whatever. Part of it, I think is because I just watched fried green tomatoes. And there's a part in that movie where they give Kathy Bates a handheld mirror and tell her to drop her, drop her pants and look at herself in a handheld mirror. I don't even want to look at myself in a handheld mirror. Like understand it's happened before women should always do that to make sure everything's good and whatever. And especially if anyway, we're not going to go there. There are some guys who watch this, but it, this made me think of that. Not at all what you meant, Jamie. I'm hundred percent positive, but that's how my brain works. And this other one dream big, know what you want, why you want it and what you're going to do about it. Man, this Bob, is it Goff or Joff? G O F F Goff or Joff? This man, I can already tell you, I like the way he talks just from the, the titles and everything else. And I just made a video about this for Squirrel Tribe. Know what you want, why you want it, and what you're going to do about it along these lines when it comes to YouTube and stuff like that. But this is going to be very big for me because I told the man this morning, he was sitting at the table. I'm pointing like y'all know where everything is because by now you should. The table's here, the couch is there, this is the kitchen. He's sitting at the table, I'm sitting on the couch, and I sent him a text and I said, hey, listen, Tomorrow, because right now it's storming. Y'all probably can't hear it, but there's thunder, there's been lightning, it's been pouring rain for the last couple hours. We're under a small baby tornado warning. <laughs> tornado, snortado, whatever. Um, but I told him, I said, tomorrow there's no rain, and tomorrow it's in the 60s, and the rest of this week it's in the 60s. This is what we will be doing. It wasn't a, I would like to, would you like to? It was a, this is what we will be doing. There is no room for discussion here. I said, we will, as a family, with the dog, go for a walk after we eat dinner, 30 minutes at least. And I don't care where we walk. We can walk in circles in the parking lot if you want. I don't give two shits about it, but we will go out and walk. The movement, because this is what I realized, y'all. This is what I realized. I am not the only female who has hit a certain age, weight, whatever. I couldn't think of other things to put up there, but certain things in life, like a little, like a moment in life where you felt like you had let everything go and everything sucked and it was your fault and whatever else. Right. Okay. Not the only one. I know that. And we could blame it on perimenopause. Probably it. We could blame it on all different kinds of things. We could blame it on winter weather because the winter, there's no sun. It's cold out. It sucks. You're not out there getting your vitamin D and everything else. But what I realized is I was looking back, this again, we're going to tie the Squirrel Tribe to here. I was looking back at videos from the beginning of Squirrel Tribe, March 10th, 2022 was when I first started there. January 22nd, my birthday last year is when we started over here in January time. And I was looking back and I noticed a massive difference in happiness levels, if you will, from March to here. And I'm like, is it because of, you know, the weight gain? Is it a thyroid thing? Is it because of perimenopause? Is it because of like getting older, you know, 42 now? What is it? And then I realized 
I don't have any fucking endorphins. I don't have not a single effing endorphin in my body right now because I have not been to the gym. I don't work out anymore. We have not done any of the things that we did every single day for years upon years upon years. I'm guessing for the last year and a half or two years, I had like an endorphin buildup. Like I had some endorphins in, in reserve from all the working out I did. And now the, that whole tank has been just depleted and it's just straight fumes. There's no endorphins. I need some fucking endorphins. I need to get out and move more and do whatever. And the winter has stopped me. Actually, my excuses for everything have stopped me. I could have gone to the gym. We have a gym at the apartment. I have a gym membership, but I have excuses too. So I told him, I said, this is what we will be doing. Okay. Every night after dinner, one, it'll help digestion. Mm -hmm. Two, it'll get Maxi Poo out of the apartment so he can do his little walkie talk, whatever. Um, three, it's great for us as a family to get out for 30 minutes and there's no phones, there's no TV, there's no nothing. And we'll just walk and talk. Uh, that'll be great. And four, we're all going to have endorphins. We'll go to bed happy. Hello, go to bed happy. Guess what? You're going to wake up happy. So that is the plan. I, I miss me. So that was the other thing. Jess, the, the female who, um, bought me 200 mimosas and told me I mattered and literally rocked my world from that whole entire thing and made me look at everything differently again and snapped me out of my funk. Absolutely everything. Jess, I don't know you, but I freaking love you just so you're fully aware. She also has her own small business. Um, I'm going to put a link to her business in the description of this video, and then I'm going to order some stuff from her because you know, I love her immensely now. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh no, 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 no. Squirrel brain. Stop it. Get back in. What are we doing? Sent the thing and I read the thing and then you matter and then whatever. Oh, so I emailed her and I was like, Hey, you know, just thank you from literally the bottom of my heart for everything you did and everything else. Right. We had this like little email thing going and she said, I could see the burnout in your eyes. I can see you need to focus on you. You need to, you know, get back to you and, and, and do things for you and whatever else. And I'm like, man, I don't realize, and I'm sure a lot of, I don't want to say just women, but men too. I'm sure if you are a spouse or you have kids or you work a lot and you give a lot to your job, a lot of times people don't realize how, how over time they forget about themselves. They put themselves on the back burner and I didn't use to back burner myself, I guess you could say, like, because the man and I, we went to the gym together and it was fun. So that was for me and it was for us and everything else. Well, now I've kind of put myself on the back burner with a lot of stuff and it's not anybody's fault at all whatsoever. It's just over time, that seems what has happened, right? I have put YouTube first and the kid first and the man first and cooking and cleaning and the dog and replying to comments and responding to emails and, you know, everything else. And then by the end of it, my me time is when I'm sitting on a couch watching something, which was how to get away with murder. But I finished that. So now we're on to movies, but that is not really me time going to the grocery store. Okay. But that's still not me time. That's still something I need to get done as a wife, as a mom, as a human who wants to eat food or have clean clothes or any of that kind of stuff. Right. Those, those things are not me time. Me time is driving my, my ass to the beach and sitting there and staring at waves for however long I want to. My me time is going to get a, a pedicure and ignoring my phone the whole time I'm there. My me time would be going for a walk wherever I want to, going to the gym when I want to and things like that. Like maybe get my hair done. I have not done anything to my hair in so long. The end of it's orange, the top of it's gray. And it's like, I look, I look frumpy. I feel like I look frumpy and that's not helping anything either. Right? So me time is definitely on my to-do list at this point. I have re-downloaded my, I can't show you because I'm using my freaking phone. So I used to use this app called my fitness pal, um, to track my macros, meaning my fats, proteins, and, and carbs and everything else. When I was really like heavy into lifting and counting calories and all that stuff. And now I'm like, Oh no, I can just eyeball it. I know exactly what's what that's cool. I can eyeball it. And then I put three times the amount on my plate. So ma'am, no, you need your app back. So I got on to the phone here and I pulled up my fitness pal and y'all this little mofos want to charge $80 a year now for the same thing that was free forever. So because I know what I need to do, I paid $80 to, to get the app the way I need it so I can track my macros, so I can record all my food, so I can do everything because for me, I know it keeps me accountable and I personally have to look at it and go, 
Well, technically, if you, if you eat this, you're going to be 250 calories over. Do you really want to take 250 calories away from yesterday? Do you really want to eat this and go over your carbs and not hit your proteins? Do you really want to do this so that, uh, you know, you, you don't see the, the, the results that you want. And then other times I can look at it and go, look how well you did today. And then I feel really good about that. Right? So for me, worth the $80, use it yesterday, use it today. I'm making the, the changes, sticking to the changes. And, um, today it's stormy, so I'm not going anywhere, but tomorrow we're, we're back to endorphining things. Like I want that walk. I want to go work out. I want to go to the gym Monday through Friday. Once the kid goes to school, my YouTube schedule will have to work around my me schedule at this time instead of the other way around. Because I realize not only am I not bringing the best me to my family, to my husband, to my child, I'm not bringing the best me to you guys. If me is, you know, sullen and like sad or pissed off at weight gain or whatever else. And I'm not doing anything about it to fix it besides just bitch and moan about it. How's that helpful to anybody? I can't sit here and tell you guys that, oh, you, you could do this, this, and this, and this. And then I don't even follow my own, my own advice. Come on now. That's a shitty little squirrel right there. So we are going to do things so much differently. Just so you know, I'll be doing, um, my little weekly updates with myself, taking the pictures and the measurements and all that fun stuff and, and whatever. And I'm excited. I'm excited to get my endorphins back. That's I'm more excited to go to the gym and, and work out and walk around and do things just to have that rush of endorphin because it does make a massive difference. And I think people forget that over time. It's not just about like how you're going to look at the end of the day, which not going to be bad about, you know, losing 30 or 40 pounds, but I am more excited about those endorphins coming back. And that way I can bring the, the full me to life. You know what I mean? As opposed to this, mm, I don't want to say like half whatever version, but I definitely don't feel like me the last couple months. And I think it's because my endorphin tank just crapped itself. And so we're going to replenish that endorphin tank. And if I was an editor right now, I would put in that part from National Lampoon Christmas where what's his face? I, I already know it's the Quaid brother in real life, but he's, he's standing outside and he's like crapper's full and he's like spraying crap down the thing. That's what I would edit into here right now. So just picture it, laugh a little, and we will continue on. So I'm, thank you, Jamie, so incredibly much for these. Is there, is there an order in these? No, there's not an order in these, right? I'm going to do this one first out of these two though. I know that much. So I'm excited about this. I appreciate you immensely. Thank you so much, Jamie. Um, I still have not opened my birthday cup from the man, this ember cup, the one that's like the self heating thing. Look, this looks bad when you do that and off, off to the side. I have not opened that up yet. That will be happening probably Monday. I've decided I'm going to set a schedule also. So I got to set the schedule, get up at six 30, come out, have my hot tea at seven o'clock, take a shower. There is no maybe hit snooze on the alarm clock and then come out at like 7.05, 7.10, make some tea, sit around, maybe at eight o'clock, take a shower and then take the kid to school and then come. No, we're setting schedules. That way you are insured to get everything that uh, you, you want in the day. It's, you don't realize the massive difference once you leave corporate America or owning a business, running a business to being free as a bird, if you will. Free as a bird sucks. Free as a bird freaking sucks. And I figure out this is why a lot of retired people go back to work. One, probably because of money, because social security didn't pay shit. But also because once you've gone that long in life with having some sort of schedule or things that you do, and then now you're just like floating all in the wind, you're like, the hell do I do with my time? Like, what am I supposed to? Without a schedule is why I've gotten nothing accomplished that I want to get accomplished because it gives me too much time to go, Oh, do it, do it a little bit, do it a little bit, do it a little bit. And then nothing gets done. And my ass is going, what did you do today though? Like, how did you, what? Did, I mean, you cleaned everything, but you didn't do the thing you wanted to do because you did all the things you needed to do, but you didn't, if you had scheduled it and, you know, stayed with it instead of like lollygagged, you would have gotten everything done. So now we're back to a schedule starting Monday. <laughs> yeah, I'm that person. Why start today? What you can start tomorrow, which is probably why we are where we are at the same time because procrastination, I'm the queen. Um, but that's about it. That's about it. I have a ton of stuff I want to show you guys and talk to you guys about, but this is it for today. I have used my energy for today. I love you all immensely. <laughs> Scroll tribe 2.0. Thank you for, um, loving me back and for being here for me and being the light in the not so bright areas. Sometimes, um, 
you are appreciated beyond belief, just so you fully know. I'm going to bring you a different video tomorrow. And then, of course, on Monday, we have Mimosa Monday. So I'm looking forward to that like crazy. And that's it for now. I just want to say I love you. I wanted to show you the, the thing from Jamie here because I was excited about that. Still excited. And just kind of give you an update on where I am mentally, emotionally, whateverly. So that's that. I love you. I'll see you later. Okay, bye.